Hello ladies and gents, Bro here and welcome to Norman Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to officially remove um, and uh, go into the um, basically deeper <laughs> side of uh, Final Cut Pro, go into the packages and the folders in order to find your footage that you don't need no longer to be in Final Cut Pro and free up some more space on your computer. There was a part one to this tutorial um basically I went into actual Final Cut Pro and I uh, showed you guys how to delete the clips through that can be in found in your rejected section of your clips and uh, that's uh, depending on your actual event that you're in but let's go ahead and show you guys how to do it for the files so what we're gonna do first is it's re recommended you go ahead and close out of Final Cut Pro completely you can go ahead and uh, right click on the application and go to quit that will completely shut it off the, if the dots are no longer in front of um, the actual icon, you'll be able to, it'll, it'll, it's basically letting you know that the application is closed. Let's go ahead, you're going to go to the search spotlight, search to the top right hand corner of your screen, and you're going to go ahead and search for movies. Um, well, yeah, movies, just like that. Now, just let it load, and then you should get a bunch of these icons and uh, files actually. And the one we're looking for is movies, the one that looks like a, it's got actual like a film reel. On, well, it's not a film reel, but it's a just a film icon on the actual folder. You'll notice there's uh, several, you might find several items in there. If you have iMovie, iMovie files will be in there as well. So let's go ahead and double click on that folder and open it up. Now, the reason I didn't close my Final Cut Pro, but let's just pretend like it's closed because I'm not actually going to be doing any kind of removing, but um, I do recommend you do close it before you go ahead and do this. So you'll notice that all your actual libraries, this is a library within Final Cut Pro, library, and then a library. Like I have three libraries in my Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys I created, I got the four tutorials, known raw films, and then we got 2015 in here as well. Now you'll be able to find these these three or all your libraries within the actual um, uh, movies folder. Now uh, let's go ahead and open up, let's just do the four tutorials one. All you gotta do is right click it, don't double click it, just right click it and go to show package contents. This will bring you inside of the folder and then in here you'll be able to see your events. I have two events, I have an other event and then I have a tutorial event. Let's go back to Final Cut Pro and show you guys this. In my four tutorials um, library, if I expand this, I have a other event and then I have a tutorial event as well. Let's go ahead and minimize that again. And uh, within these two, we can go ahead and just now you can double click, open up the folder. You'll be able to find the actual uh, footage and like render files, analysis files, original media. And uh, within the tutorial, let's go to the original media and you'll be able to find the actual media that's actually used. For example, if you're done with some of these, go ahead and uh, delete it. You can go, it's safe to remove it. I don't suggest removing the entire library like this and moving into trash. I don't suggest doing that because I'm letting you know it will change your Final Cut Pro. Like, it will completely remove that library. And uh, like I mentioned before as well, it's important to mention have Final Cut Pro completely closed out. Now, um, it's uh, just be very diligent when you're doing this. Um, if you go ahead and move it to trash. I wouldn't empty your trash until maybe once you're done, you can go ahead and open a Final Cut Pro and make sure it's removed or something, if <laughs> everything was removed correctly. And if something else was removed that you didn't want it to be removed, um, go ahead and drag it from your trash and back in here into your movies and it should put it back but uh, like I said that uh, keep in mind be cautious what you're deleting you don't want to be deleting everything or important pack packages and stuff um, and uh, it's important for me to say that just so that you guys don't get mad at me but yeah keep in mind um, these are your events and then um, well actually let's go back here so I can show you further show package contents and here I have my tutorial and then in here I have my actual um, this is the actual project. I only have one project in my tutorial event. And uh, within the project, you, it, this is the actual project. You can actually transfer it from uh, one computer to a next if you'd like. But it, it's recommended, that, I mean, the the computer you're transferring it to is actually, it needs to be running the same version Final Cut Pro as well. And that, that all can be done through Final Cut Pro though. You can go ahead and go to file and then export or transfer file. It's better to do it through Final Cut Pro. This is just for deleting and freeing space on your actual computer purposes. That's the basics of this tutorial. Be sure to leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life be the proof, the proof of your